Okay, so I totally lied and we have more stuff to go through. I do want to go through my eyeliners. Um, I was using them yesterday and I realized that some of them are just not that great and some of them I don't like. Some of them have dried out a little bit. And I also have mascaras and brow products that I would like to go through. So that is what we're going to be doing. So let me zoom you guys in and then we can take it one category at a time. I think we're going to start with eyeliners. Okay, so these are going to be all of my eyeliners. As you can see, I have quite a few and I do want to get rid of, you know, some of these because some are just not really colors that I wear on my eyes that often and some are just a little bit too old. So I am going to probably swatch most of these. That was going to be the plan anyway. So I'm just going to start with all of my Lancome eyeshadow sticks here because I don't think I'll be keeping all of these because some of these colors are just not really my jam, even though I think they are great products. I would just rather give these to someone who's going to get some more use out of them. And I do have some friends that I think will really enjoy some of these. So I'm going to, for myself, I want to keep the blue and I also want to keep the black and I want to keep, do I want to keep the bronze one? I do want to keep the purple and I'll probably keep the pink. So I think I'm going to hand these off to a friend because these are just not really my kind of colors because these are just bronze and golds. So I am going to declutter these. I don't want to say declutter because that just sounds bad because it's not like I'm throwing them away, but I am going to give these away to someone else. So let's move on. This is an Urban Decay liner in Zodiac and I will be keeping this because this is a beautiful kind of dark green mossy shade. So I like that a lot. I'm just randomly grabbing here. This is a ColourPop liner and I will be keeping this because I love me a good orange liner and I'll probably keep all of my ColourPop liners to be honest. So let me just pull this out. So I think these are all of my ColourPop liners. So I'm going to put these aside because I love these. And I will also be keeping my milk stamps, which I have three of. I have the star, the smiley face and the heart. So I will be keeping these. And I will also be keeping my LA Girl liners, which I have four of, I believe. And these I just got, and these are amazing. If you were thinking about picking these up, I would highly recommend them. Now this one here from Stila, I don't think is very good anymore. It's kind of dry. I mean, you can see it still works, but since I have the LA Girl liner, which was this one, they're basically the same. I'm going to declutter my Stila one because it is pretty old as well. And I also have this NYX liner, which is kind of similar to the Urban Decay one that I swatched, but a little bit lighter, and I think this is great. I actually really like the NYX formula, so I am going to be keeping all of my NYX liners. I also have a silver one, as well as the black, I believe, and I have the white somewhere. Oh, another ColourPop liner, I'm keeping that one. And this is my white NYX liner, so I will also be keeping all of these. Now this is one I think I will be decluttering, and this is... what is this? Maybelline? Infallible. Who has the infallible? Oh, L'Oreal. Okay, let me just swatch this. I mean, I like this, but I don't love it. I don't think it's all that good. And I do have an Urban Decay liner, which is kind of similar to this. Even though this one is kind of old, but it is definitely more pigmented. I need to sharpen it. So I'm going to keep my Urban Decay one, and then I'm going to declutter my L'Oreal one. And this one here is from Makeup Forever, and this is a light blue liner with a bit of sparkles in it, but I don't like that there's glitter in this. I just, I don't know. I also have another one from NYX, which is kind of similar, and this one also has glitter in it. I don't like liners with a lot of glitter in it, but I do think I'm going to keep my Makeup Forever one because this is definitely a lot smoother. So I'm going to declutter my NYX one. I don't like the pencil ones from NYX. I don't think they're that good. I like the retractable ones a lot more. So I'm getting rid of this one, keeping this one. Here's another one from NYX, and this is also a pencil, but this is purple. I don't love this that much. Uh, let's see which other purples I have. This is from Natasha Denona. This one is terrible. I'm going to give this away. I got this from a friend, and it's pretty old, so I'm going to declutter this. I have another one from Natasha Denona as well, which is a dark green. And these are just so stiff. Like, they're, they're not great, so this one is going... What do I do about this NYX one? Let's see, what else do I have that's purple? I have this one from Urban Decay, I believe. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping this because I love my Urban Decay liner. So I'm just going to pull out all of them, I think. I can't imagine I would declutter any of my Urban Decay ones because I use these all the time. 
So I'm going to keep all of these because I just, I love this formula. This is probably my favorite eyeliner formula that I have in my collection. So I will be keeping all of these. This one is from Stila and it's a kind of bronzy, dark brown. This is not the kind of shade that I ever go for. So I am going to declutter this even though, you know, it works well. I'm also probably going to declutter this bronze one from Ulta Beauty, even though that is so soft. Maybe I will keep one of these just to have one kind of neutral browny one in my collection or a bronzy one, I should say. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to declutter the Stila one. And this one is from the Sephora collection. It's also a bit of a kind of bronzy gold shade. I'm going to declutter this because I just, I don't use these kind of colors ever on my eyes. So I don't see any point in keeping them in my collection. This is one of the NYX Faux Whites. I like this a lot. I think these are great and I would love to get more of them. So you can see it's just got a bit of a purple tint to it. And I think these are great. I do want to get more of these. I have one that's kind of similar. This is by Marc Jacobs. This is, I think it's called the Highliners. I will say though that I accidentally left the cap off of this for like, I don't know, a couple of days and it dried out a little bit, but you can still see it work. So I am going to keep this. So this swatch right here is not the good representation of how this liner actually is because this is super soft when you first buy it. So I'm going to keep both of these. This one is from Morphe and it's in poolside and I don't like this formula that much. The color is nice but I have to press pretty hard to get any kind of pigment maybe if I really warm this up. I just have not tried this that many times because I thought it was so hard to get into my waterline. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I feel like I have similar shades in my Urban Decay liners even though it's really pretty but I just never reach for this, so I think I am going to get rid of this. As pretty as that is, I just, I know I'm not going to reach for it despite the color being really nice. As for this NYX one though, uh, I don't know. Let me try this again. You know what? That is really pretty. I am going to keep this because this swatch is a lot better than some of the other liners that I have, so I'm going to keep this. This is one of my all-time favorite liners. This is from the Sephora collection and it's in the shade Indulge Yourself, and I don't think they have this anymore, but... I love this green so much. It's just so pretty. It's so unique. I don't have any other green liners in my collection that's like this. This one is from Makeup Forever. This is great, even though it's pretty similar to the ColourPop one that I have. But I like this because you can use it as a lip liner, even though I'm sure I could use all of my eyeliners as lip liners, but this is like meant for multitasking. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm also going to keep this Wet n Wild liner. I like this a lot. It's a beautiful pink kind of metallic. And this is just a black from Urban Decay, which I will of course be keeping because you can never have too many black eyeliners. So those were the eyeliners. Let me pull out all of my, I guess, eyebrow products because I have so many things I need to get through. Okay, so I have a lot of random things here, but everything in here I want to say are eyeliners, like liquid liners or eyebrow pens. So I'm just going to pull them out and kind of take it as I go. I'm not going to be counting any of these as like how many I keep, how many I get rid of, because there are so many different categories here. But this is my well, Too Faced Glitter Glue. I will definitely be keeping this. Next up, I have my DHC liquid liner, which is one of my favorites. I will be keeping this as well. Moving on to my ColourPop liquid liner. I don't like this. I think the felt tip on this is just too stiff like it doesn't bend like it's nice and black and stuff and it dries down pretty fast but it's also kind of liquidy which I don't like and it seeps into some of my lines sometimes when I put it on so I don't personally like this liner so I will be getting rid of this one next up this is my NYX epic ink liner I like this but it's a little bit too liquidy for my liking but I am going to keep it just as a backup for if my other liners kind of run out this is nice to have on hand like I said, this is very random. So this is an Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. I'm gonna keep this. Also going to keep my CoverGirl eyebrow pencil. This is one of my favorites. I have mine in Soft Brown. This is my MAC Shade and Shape. I don't use this as often as I should. I really do like this though. I never use it on its own. I usually use it on top of like a brow pen just to get some hair-like strokes through my brows because I don't have a lot of brows. So sometimes it's nice to just kind of draw little strokes. I know these are very thick, but just trying to show you how it works. But I do really like this. I'm going to keep it. Next, I have a brow, what is this? Brow gel, tinted brow gel. This is from the Brow Gal. I got this in a BoxyCharm. This is getting pretty dried out and I never really reach for it. And I've gotten a new one since, not in this brand, but this is really, really good. I like this when I used it, but like I said, I have another one in my collection that I've been using more lately, so I, I am going to just 
declutter this one. This is something else that I got in the box of charm. This is like a brow pomade, but I hate this. I don't hate the product, I hate the packaging. I think this is just so annoying. And then you have a brush on the other side here and it's such a pain in the ass to get this brush like into here and it's just uh, it's super annoying. But the product itself is great and I could definitely see myself using like my own brush to put into this but I never reach for it because it's just such an annoying packaging so I'm going to declutter this one. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I use this from time to time and I still have plenty left in it so even though I don't use it a whole lot, I am going to keep it just for the times when I remember to reach for it. I'm not really a brow gel kind of person, so it's just one of those steps that I keep forgetting, but I am going to use this at some point, so I'll keep this. I'm also going to keep my Bushy Brow by Lime Crime. This is the one that I said kind of replaced the one that I got rid of, and I like the color of this a little bit more, so I'm definitely going to keep this. I think this is a great product. Next up, this is the It Brow Power... It Cosmetics Brow Power... What is this even called? I don't know, but I got this in a boxy charm, and I don't like these kind of brow pens. I hate the kind of thick brow definer kind of things, and this is just so dry, and it doesn't... I don't know. I like the brow products that has a lot more pigment to them, so I'm not going to keep this. This is a Sephora brow pen. I really like this. I use this a lot, hence why I have two of them, so I am going to keep both of these. I also have one here from Colourpop, and this is in Redhead. This shade is just not really good for me right now. I feel like my brow products kind of depends what color my hair is. So when I have red hair, I feel like this is a bit much, a bit too much red. So I am going to get rid of this one because I just never use it. Eh, maybe I'll keep it around. Who knows? I might, I might find a way to use this at some point. I mean, these are just like, I really like the consistency of these. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I'm going to keep it just because I do like it. So as you can see here, I also have two of the Anastasia Brow Wizzes. I have two different colors. I have chocolate and auburn. I don't really reach for this, these colors a lot anymore, but I am going to keep them just because they are fairly new. So, you know, I do like this formula a lot. It's not my favorite anymore. I definitely prefer my CoverGirl one, but I am going to keep both of these. Something else I'm going to keep is my Kat Von D liquid liner. This is just good to have if I'm traveling or something and I want to bring something that's a bit smaller. And I mean, I do like this, so I'm going to keep it. Next up I have a Stila liquid liner. I used to love this. This used to be my holy grail liner. And ever since I tried it last time, this is pretty new. I just haven't really worn it that much because I found other ones that I like more. But I mean, this is pretty new, so I am going to keep it. And I feel like it's just nice to kind of have backups in my collection when I do run out of the ones that I really do like. Next up I have one that I got from BH Cosmetics and I'm pretty sure this was like a free gift with- wait, this is not from BH, this is from a boxy charm, I'm pretty sure. This is from a brand called Sistar and I don't remember how I felt about this but the felt tip is very stiff and I don't like the kind of felt tips that just like don't bend. So I'm gonna get rid of this for that reason alone even though, I mean, the product itself is okay but I just don't like these kind of felt tip liners that are very stiff. And this one right here is one that I actually got sent in PR. This is from a brand called Mia Adora, and it's their Unshakable Eyeliner. I used this for a while, but I found that it actually dried out really fast, which is a shame because when I first got this, this was amazing, and I really, really liked it. But as you can see, like it's pretty dried out, so I'm going to declutter this one. I'm also going to declutter my Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner from Wet n Wild. Actually, should I keep this? I kind of do want to keep this. This seemed a lot more liquidy now than last time I used this, maybe because I've been storing it upside down. Hmm. I think I am going to use this. I haven't like completely made up my mind on this, and it seems pretty good. So yeah, I guess I'll keep this one. And this is a brow pen that I got in my BoxyCharm, I think, last month. Was it BoxyCharm or was it the Tribox? I'm not sure, but I really like this. I've been using this a lot. This is from Glamour Brow, and it's the Radial, or maybe the brand is called Radial, and it's the Glamour Brow Pencil. Either way, this is in the shade Dark Ash Brown, and I really like this. So those were all of my brow products, I'm pretty sure. Now let's move on to some more random stuff, like eyeshadow primers and more brow products. So this is an eyeliner that I got in a boxy charm. This is a pretty vulgar one. I hate this packaging so much. I'm never going to use this. I'm going to declutter it. I know a lot of people love this, but I didn't even like the formula of this. I didn't think it dried on fast enough, and I just it's just not very practical, and I hate things that are impractical. So I'm going to easily get rid of this. 
This is a brow pomade from Anastasia in dark brown. I also think I have Auburn here. I don't really use pomades a lot, but I feel like these are just nice to have in my collection and I feel like they're never going to dry out. So I'm definitely going to keep both of these and I do have some Duraline in case they do dry out. So I'm not really worried about like not using these because I feel like when I do want to use them, I'll be able to just kind of bring them back to life. So I also have a brow powder from Anastasia as well, and I'm going to keep this because it's just kind of nice to have on hand. This is an eyeliner from Tarte that is in a lime green shade, and it's kind of dried out, but like I said, I'll just put some Duraline in here and it'll be fine, so I'm going to keep this. I also have a Bobbi Brown black eyeliner, which I really, really like. I think this is great. As you can see, I've used this quite a bit. And I also have one from MAC, and this is a dark green, and this is beautiful. So I will be keeping all of these. I don't really reach for them that often, unfortunately, but I do really like potted eyeliners like that. I also have the Super Beauty one. This is in the shade Grape Soda, and this is one of their, what do you call these, cake eyeliners? I don't know, but this is like a water-activated liner, and the color of this is beautiful. And then last up, we have my eyeshadow primer. So here, the thing is... I like to have different eyeshadow primers to kind of compare formulas with, so I am going to keep most of these even though on their own I don't like them. So this is my Milani eyeshadow primer, I am going to keep this. So this one right here is by Sorme Cosmetics and I got sent this through Octoly. And I don't love this unfortunately, I really thought I was going to like this because it reminded me so much of the MAC Paint Pot both in consistency and just like the whole pop format, but this one unfortunately creases on me and I just can't use an eyeshadow primer that does that. So, you know, I'm probably going to declutter this because I just can't even make this work for me. I've used it like three times now and I like how my shadows goes on on top of it, but throughout the day this creases and I never really have that problem with any eyeshadow primer. So unfortunately this one is just not for me, so I am going to declutter this. These are my P. Louise bases. I'm going to keep both of them because I like using these for cut creases, especially the white one if I'm going in with something very light on top. So I'm for sure keeping both of these. Here I have two of my MAC paint pots. I have the Painterly and I also have the Soft Ochre. I did a video not that long ago comparing these two formulas and they turn out to be extremely different and I don't like Painterly at all when I compare it to Soft Ochre. And I should have probably returned my Painterly paint pot, but I forgot to do it and then the time kind of ran out. So I think I'm going to give this to someone else because someone might like this. I've barely put a dent into it. I've barely used it like three times. So I'm going to get rid of the Painterly one and I'm going to keep my Soft Ochre. This is just a random Wet n Wild eyeshadow that is just like a nude color. I'm going to keep that. This is my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I did not like this when I first tried it, so I think I'm just going to declutter it right away because I just don't see myself ever reaching for this. This is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and I think this might just be old. I've had this for so long, so I don't know if I want to keep it in my collection, but maybe I should keep it just for like... If I want to compare it with an eyeshadow primers, it's nice to have this one in my collection, but I do think I'm going to declutter my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion because this is pretty old as far as I remember. It still seems to work fine though, and I don't really think I use this enough. I can't remember how I feel about this. The thing I don't like about it is that it's just very clear, and I like eyeshadow primers that have some more pigmentation to them, and the same kind of goes for the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but Maybe I should keep these. Do you guys want to see any like comparisons between the eyeshadow primers that I do have? If so, let me know and I can see if I can make a video comparing some eyeshadow primers to each other. This is my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I hate this. I'm going to get rid of it. And I also have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I've used this maybe once, I think. I don't really have a set opinion about it yet, except that I don't really like white eyeshadow primers. I don't like how they look underneath my brow. I don't like that very sharp like contrast between my brow and my shadows. So, I mean, I'm going to keep this. It's nice to just have in my collection for if I ever need a white base for something. So I'm going to keep this, but as an eyeshadow primer, I don't think it's really my thing. But yeah, that was some of the eyeshadow primer part and I'm going to grab my mascara so we can quickly go through these because I feel like this is going to be a long video. Okay, so I'm pretty sure nobody needs this many mascaras, myself included, but here we are. So this is one that I just got in my BoxyCharm. It's the Butter London Power Up Mascara. I've yet to try this, so I'm going to keep this. This is another mascara that I have from Essence. It's the Lash Princess. You guys told me to get this because this was a lot better than the pink tube and I totally agree with this. I don't love it. I don't hate it, but 
I'm gonna keep it. I'll try to get some more use out of this, but it's not my favorite by any means. Although my favorite right here is my Bad Gal Bang. You guys know this for sure keeping this. This is just the best mascara of all time, if you ask me. This is my Mega Slim Skinny Mascara by Wet n Wild. I hate this. I'm gonna get rid of it. So these are all of my colored ColourPop mascaras. I'm going to keep all of these because I love them. I am gonna get rid of the black one though because I just, I don't like this formula personally. This is not for me. This is more of a volumizing mascara and I prefer length. But for the colored ones, I always use them on my lower lash line. So like the formula doesn't matter that much. It's nice and pigmented, but I just never use this on my upper lashes. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm also going to get rid of my CoverGirl Lash Primer. I don't like this. I don't feel like this did anything for me. I'm also going to get rid of this one from Wander Beauty. This is just old. We got this in BoxyCharm. I want to say last year at some point, and it actually says six months on this, which is a lot more than any other mascara I've ever seen. I do think this is okay, but like I said, it's pretty old, so I just feel bad keeping this. And this is the other Essence mascara that I was talking about. I hate this. I'm going to get rid of both. I'm also going to declutter my pink Sephora collection mascara as well as my blue L'Oreal mascara and my purple NYX mascara because I do have all of my ColourPop ones in the same shades. I think I do have a purple one in the ColourPop. Okay, so I do, but it's definitely a different kind of purple. This is very much a bright or a lavender kind of purple, and this is more of a... Actually, you know what? They're pretty similar. <laughs> I take that back. I'm going to just keep my ColourPop one. This is the DDK 4K Mascara Eyelash. I don't remember what the hell this thing is called, but I am going to declutter this because I never reach for it. I also have some minis here, and I think I'm only going to keep one of these... Maybe I will keep the pretty vulgar one because I've barely tried this, but the thing is for me with mini mascaras, I only use them on my lower lashes, so, and so this wand is just too big for that. I do like the Roller Lash by Benefit though for my lower lashes. I'm not the biggest fan of like the curved wand, but it's fine for lower lashes. My favorite, however, is this Smashbox one. This is called the Super Fan Mascara. I really like this as a mascara and I haven't even opened this because it came in a sample pack. So I'm going to keep both of these and then I'm gonna probably get rid of these two. This is a small Too Faced Better Than Sex. I don't even like this mascara. I hate this, honestly. So I'm gonna get rid of these two and I'm gonna keep these. And this is my It's Superhero Mascara. I've had this for so long, I need to just declutter it. I do really like this though. I think this is actually a great mascara. And these are my Lancome ones. I have the Hypnose Drama. I also have the Primer. These are pretty new to my collection. I like both of them, so I'm going to keep both. So these are all the things that I am decluttering from like this whole pile. I know it's not a whole ton, but it's still nice to just get all of these things out of my collection and look at me, I just have stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna go clean off, I'm going to charge my battery and then I'm going to film some more decluttering. So I hope you enjoy this little random everything kind of declutter. I know this was a bit all over the place but I still wanted to get through these things because it's the kind of things that I don't really go through on a regular basis to declutter so it's nice to get some more space in my mascaras and stuff and just get rid of the things that are old. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are enjoying my declutter series so far. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did and became part of my family. And I will see you all hopefully in my next video. Bye!